it's summertime and for most of us Hungarians that means visiting Lake Balaton. Right now we are at Siófok which is very nostalgic to me because I spent a lot of my time here as a child. So let me take you on this adventure. Let's dive into Siófok. Come! Today's destination is Siófok, sometimes referred to as the capital of Lake Balaton, located just a one and a half hour train ride away from Budapest. It's a popular vacation spot for many Hungarians, thanks to how easily you can get here and enjoy the wonderful beaches of the lake. As you can see, the water is really shallow here, so you can walk in by 50 meters or maybe even more than this. It makes this place an ideal visit if you want to relax. If you want to swim, maybe you need to go a little bit further out, but yeah, now we're getting a little bit closer to where we can actually swim, so let's do that. This is the heck. It's a fish that's actually not from the Balaton, not even from Hungarian seas, but we flavor the batter with some wonderful paprika. And that's why this is like a summer Hungarian food. Let's dig into this. Yummy. To me personally, no visit to Balaton is complete without renting a pedal boat. It's a cool way to get to deeper waters and away from the crowd, but most importantly, it's super fun and brings out your inner child. One of the best beach accessory I have ever purchased is this little beach tent. It's really handy especially here because there's 17 kilometers worth of beach here in Siófok and there are trees, however, a lot of people will be first under those shades. But with this one, we have shade wherever we go and we also have some privacy. Cheers! The beach we enjoyed is free for anyone to enter, but if you wish to have more bars, restaurants and service facilities, the Plage Beach offers these and some more, but there is an entry fee there. This here is the town center. There are obviously coffee shops and restaurants here, plus this little nice tower. You can go up and get a view of Siófok and the lake itself. And also there's a nice park with some flowers and art. So it's really cool to come here if you wish to relax. However, most of the shops like a plaza and another little market are also located here in case you need to buy like a towel or any other beach equipment. Let's go and check it out. As you walk around here, you will find many different statues and sculptures, some depicting an artistic message and some honoring historic Hungarians. Like Count István Széchenyi, whose name you'll see on street and square signs all over Budapest. He helped with the modernization of Hungary, including the establishment of steamboat services on Lake Balaton, which was a huge development for the region. This here is a music pavilion. There's another one in a park that is close by. We will check that out later tonight. And there's also a statue here of Imre Kaman. A lot of places here are actually named after Imre Kaman because the Siófokians are really proud of him. He was born here and he's one of the most famous Hungarian operetta writer. There's also a statue of him right in front of the Operetta Theater in Budapest as well. Yeah, if you walk around here, try to find the many things that are named after Imre Kaman. Uh, 
Now I just found a table that claims this here is the best ice cream here in Shiofuk. Let's put that to the test. One thing for sure, the selection of the ice creams were really interesting here. I mean, this is like pistachio and white chocolate. There's also salted butter caramel. And there were also other things that I've never really seen in uh, ice cream shops in Budapest. So let's put this to the test. But first, the selfie time. Is this the best ice cream in Shiofu? Mm -hmm. It's certainly really good, I do have to say. Close to the train station, you will find this evangelic church, which was designed by one of my favorite Hungarian architects, Imre Mokovets. He has a very distinct style and I really enjoy it. Maybe if you walk in Budapest or travel Hungary, you'll find buildings that look like this. You will now know who designed those. And this one kind of looks like it's wearing a mask or something like, you know, like this. Superhero to the rescue. Let's continue walking. Here's a little bit of a fun fact. Shio Fok was originally known as Fok. Shio is just the channel's name that's running across the town. And back in the medieval times, this name Fok was actually written in a way that was more F-U-K. So Fok, as in like, you know, let's get down to Fok. Maybe I need to bleep that out because that sounds weird. Anyways, maybe that t-shirt over there is playing a pun on that old name that they had. Brain freeze time. And now we arrived to the Tattoo Fiché time. This is where the nightlife happens, where all the fun stuff are, like bars and restaurants. So let's go check it out. The Petufi Promenade, also branded as Splash Corzo, is a prime destination to close a long day spent at the beach. You can eat some simple meals or lose a lot of money if you have children, thanks to the shops and arcades. But if you're looking for bars for drinks and partying, you'll have many places to choose from here. As you explore Shiofok, you'll see that there are a lot of signs that have German words on them. And the reason why they're here, and so many of them are across the city, is because of the time when we used to have East and West Germany. When Germany was divided, many families and friends got cut off from each other because of the Iron Curtain. During this time, Hungary was also under Soviet influence, but still allowed travelers from West Germany to visit its tourist hotspots. This included the summertime destinations of Lake Balaton, where Germans from both sides could meet and hang out again. Hence, it became a popular vacation spot for East and West Germans, and in a way, this was also important on the path that ultimately led to the fall of the Berlin Wall. Up until this day, many Germans still visit, because of these nostalgic times. Now, as you explore the streets, you will notice some of these villa-like buildings, and there is a very good reason why they are here. Basically, when this whole area was turned into the vacation spot that it is today, the intellectuals in Budapest, like the novelists, writers, journalists, and other middle-class big guys, they came down here and really loved this area. So they started to buy up their own lands, create their own villas, and come here for the summer. Now, you can also come and visit these places, because most of them are hotels today. Now, as you're exploring the city, you'll be seeing a lot of these tall and majestic pine trees. And while, yeah, they do have this Mediterranean vibe, but they are actually not native to this region. They were actually placed here when this whole shore went over a renovation. Apparently, they make the soil much stronger. 
Now, not all of them have survived over the last 100 years, but the city does try to take care of the remaining ones. And thanks to that, if you walk around here at the Yokai Park, you can enjoy their nice view and their nice cool shadows. I told the joke once about how old the pirate is. I did that in Tihony, that's on the other side and we actually took a boat from here so if you want to know how that joke is or maybe find out what Tihony is like, maybe check out that video. This is very nostalgic and also bloody difficult to eat, clean at least. There's always a debate if the northern or the southern shores are the best of the Balaton region. And to be honest, one thing is for sure only that the sunsets are the best here at the southern shore. But anyways, what do you guys think? Northern shore, southern shore, Shiofok, Badachon, Tihon, wherever else. Maybe leave a comment below and let us know which one you like the best. So this was Shiofok. Hopefully now you guys know why we Hungarians love the Balaton so much and you also got inspired to maybe visit this place if you come here during summer. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this kind of content, maybe hit the like button. We are really appreciative if you do that and maybe also consider subscribing so that in the future you see more content from us and hopefully we will see you guys in our future videos. Bye!